It is boiling. So the only right thing to do is to take you on our 2022 summer buying guide. Come with us and don't forget your sun cream. Voila. Starting off strong, we have the Dodge Charger Hellcat. Come and have a look at this. And then have a look further around here. Head on. That is a mean car and they are going to give you a right good ride. We've got big air intakes here and here, cool down the massive engine. Now, one of the special things about this car and why we've chosen it is there are two keys. And don't get me wrong, you think that's boring from straight up because every car has two keys but they affect your horsepower. So the black key, it is 500 horsepower, whereas the red key is 700. 100 horsepower. Now, I don't know about you, but I have recently just bought a Fiat 500 and that was about 69 horsepower. So you can tell this girl is gonna give you a big ride. <laughs> now, you may notice something initially different about this car, but of course, this is a left-hand drive. It's automatic, so no bothers with all of the gear stuff when you're driving along. Uh, paddle shifters here, but it is a left-hand drive. So what I'm going to say is, if you're planning on doing the Route 66 in America this year, I would take this as your car. It's probably no use um, in England at the moment to a road trip as it's currently 90p per mile to run this car in the UK. But in America, it's probably different. This is going to be spacious. You've got nice, comfortable seats to ride along in. Your partner in the side, there's room in the back, a lot of boot room. Um, but yeah, this is a classic American car to take on an American road trip, which is why we've chosen this car for the summer 2022 guide. Defender, a classic. You cannot go wrong with this car this summer. Big wheels, big alloys, there's plenty of space. You can have a five door, but I'm, me personally, I'm preferring a three door. I like a compact car. You can get a lot in there. Uh, if you're going on a trip with your family, if you're going on a vacation. But most importantly, it has a lot of features. So this one itself. Have a look inside. So we're inside the car now and I just want to talk about how much space this car actually has. So I've put my phone away before my journey. I can reach it around all the way around here. There's also a charging point here in case you want to charge your phone. But not get distracted while you're driving because that's really important. Um, Loads of space in the centre console here, so even if you're driving, you, you relax and you get your armrest on here. But we've got our cup holders now. We've not got ice coolers, but I do have my essentials, my water, and my sun cream, which is perfect. And um, for a hot summer's day, your essentials are right by your side. Normally there would be a third um, chair here, but we can see that this chair has been folded down for this purpose. Um, not cutting up this storage area. We have my swimming kit here for when I'm going to the beach. Your other essential that you should always be taking and doing everywhere else is your COVID test. Charging wise, um, the kids aren't going to get bored. You need your cameras to charge when you're at the beach um, for family memories or friend memories. Um, your passengers can also charge their phones through the centre console here. Um, but what else? We have a very rugged off-road style. So all of these little like grasping points and see here with the lovely glass at the back. Um, made out of material that is just easily washable. So if you've got the kids in the back getting sand everywhere or you've been off-roading in this off-road car um, and you've got mud, don't panic like it's just gonna come straight off this is what the car is perfect for and um, if you step inside and have a look here we have our digitalized rear mirror so that's off so I can see out the mirror at the back and then I have the camera on so I can see over that back wheel in case of um, any other obstructions but let's talk about my favorite feature of this car let's stick her on first Perfect. And she's going open. Now that is what dreams are made of. Driving along on a road, you've got your friends in the back, roof's open, you're letting the air in on a hot summer's day. This is just why you need a Defender if you like these features in the summer. 
There's something about a soft top roof on a car that just screams summer and excitement. Which is why we have chosen our number one spot for the summer 2022 buying guide as the mini convertible. But picture this. You're driving with your friends, the music's on, the roof's down, you've got your sunnies on, wind's blowing in your hair. If you add all of those elements with the iconic design of Mini that has been timeless throughout all of the years and popular internationally, it gives you that summer feeling. Um, what we like about this car is that it is small, compact, but there is quite a lot of room when you put the seats down and you open up the boot, you're still going to get all of your summer clothes in and say if you're going on a camping trip, Mini's not quite your car, but you could still fit a two-man tent in there with the seats down. Starting price is around 25,000, about 465 pounds. So if you've got that money to spare, we recommend this car as your number one car. The Toyota Estima is a wild car that we're throwing in. It is an affordable, it is spacious, and it is perfect for your summer road trip. These seats are comfy. They can go forward, back to the side and everything. Um, but most importantly if you're taking your whole family or if you're taking a lot of your friends there's three seats that are in the boot that are underneath that just pop out like a sofa bed and then you also have seven seats in the car it's around ten thousand pounds that we're selling one for so get your hands on it this is a hybrid car with plenty of features so if you're looking for an affordable but an impressive still car that's not going to hurt the environment then this car is for you here we have the fully electric EQS. Now, if you have a larger budget for a summer car, then this is the car for you. This is Mercedes flagship of tech, but it's jam-packed full of features. So we've got head-up display, we have rear seat entertainment, we have climate control in the front and back, massage seats, navigation, and but also on the head-up display, the navigation shows you arrows to turn left, turn right. But what I will say is, you don't really want to be the driver of this car, as it's the electrified version of the S500, you want to be in the passenger seat, you want to be in the back, you want to be relaxing as this car drives along. But the range on it is insane. It was currently on about 92% charge with about 300 miles left to go. Um, so if you do have a larger budget, then this car is for you. Camper vans are back, especially if you're gonna go for the VW California 6.1. Get this vehicle in the split tone, so it's one colour for the top and one colour for the bottom, then you are really basing this on the Type 2 Combi Microbus. This newer and upgraded version is a lot more spacious. It can fit up to two adults and two children, so if you want to bring back the power of the 60s whilst also having a more emission-friendly camper van, then for £72,980, this hippie bus is for you. If after this video you're still not quite sure on what summer car to get, head over to our blog on autoexport.co.uk slash news, we'll link it down below. Um, that will give you so much more information and so many more different options on what to choose this summer. Thanks for watching and just remember to like, comment and subscribe.